Well, for me, it's really special because now we have the first black Asian female president in office elected, and Joe Biden was able to steal, steal now, because it's a win. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to have a here. No, we were able to win the election. We were able to win the election. Yes. We have put together, I think, the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in the history of American politics. And James, the only thing I'll cite, there's no right, there's no left. It is the state versus you. As a Canadian in Japan and an anarchist, I am fighting every urge and inclination that I have to simply poo-poo all of this and say, who cares? But having said that, I will offer at least this bit of insight into what is going on for all of you Americans out there. None of this chaos is surprising. The chaos is part of the plan. And we have known this for months at the very least. This chaos is not surprising. My only interest in this selection process is whatever will delegitimize in the minds of the brainwashed statist masses the illusion of government power and control and the strange cult that worships a single man. Uh, this man or that man is going to be the leader of 330 million people and will govern the, the country and tell the country what to do and be the, the person that decides everything, which we all know. Everyone who is watching us right now knows that is a total lie, a complete lie. The puppets in office have their strings pulled by the bankers who control the system. We all know this, but every four years, people lose their collective mind playing these stupid games, winning stupid prizes that they've already told you are going to come. They've told you about the chaos. They are planning for this selection and everyone puts all of their energy, their psychic mental energy and invests their identity in this stupid charade every four years. And I understand how young people get suckered into it. I cannot for the life of me understand people who in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s who have watched this charade play out every four years their entire life and still lose their mind over it. What happened? At any rate, I don't care whether it's douchebag or turd sandwich that gets in. Uh, I, all, all, the only thing that's, that's of interest here is the way it plays out in the public consciousness. And that's up to us to decide, not whoever is in whatever political office. But it's those little steps along the way when you realize, hey, you guys don't even follow the rules of your game that you've set up. And you just, you slowly lose any faith and trust and belief in the holy religion of the state. What happened? 